you know, but here's the thing, you know, Ezekiel Elliott, uh, you know, that's a player last year. I took a lot of, you know, feedback and, and pushback when I said, look, we need to be aware this guy's been in the league for six years. He had a lot of tread on the tires. We should start to look at this guy potentially falling off a little bit. And even though he finishes RB6, that was more indicative of the fact that so many running backs ahead of him got hurt, whether it be McCaffrey, Dalvin Cook missed time, you know, all Derek Henry missed more than half a season. So, you know, sometimes the end of season rankings where guys finish is not indicative necessarily of their performance. Now I'm with you. Najee Harris is still going to be the guy. He's still the all-purpose back. There are few and far between right now. He's going somewhere in the middle of drafts in the first round, which is where he should be going. Uh, I think somewhere around the six, seven spot is a great spot to get Najee Harris. You know what you're getting. Uh, the limitations of that offense are going to be there. I think Kenny Pickett is going to be a little bit better than people realize. I think he's going to get a shake sooner than people realize. Also, I'm not saying he's going to be like Herbert where all of a sudden everybody said, yeah, he's going to need a year of development. He's not quite there. And then he blows the doors off everybody. But I do believe the picket's going to be better than people realize. And I think he's going to fit in pretty well in that offense. He's got a lot to work with also. I'd like to see the line make a little bit more improvement year over year, but we can't have everything. But in terms of looking at that first round, I think the thing that people keep doing and, and they keep you know, banging their head against the wall, Scotty, is they look at the running back position and say, well, I've got to start with the running back. No, you don't. You don't have to. Justin Jefferson out there last year getting 1,600 yards. Jamar Chase is a rookie, just blowing the doors off people, looking incredible. You know, Cooper Cup almost setting records across the board. You can start even your half PPR leagues with a wide receiver. And to me, that's how I want to start. I can make the case all the way for Justin Jefferson as number one because you look at last year in that 10 touchdowns and those 1,600 yards. You have a head coach who comes over here and Kevin O'Connell, who I think can really open up this offense. And all of a sudden, man, You've got a very exciting Minnesota Vikings attack, and you could see Jefferson end up becoming the 1-1 player overall. And right now, sometimes he goes as late as fifth or sixth overall, sometimes even lower.